Good evening, Honors College class of 2020, friends and families. I'm Ralph Keen. I'm the Dean of the Honors College, and I'm happy to welcome you to this year's celebration for December graduates of the Honors College here at UIC. You follow a path paved by over 8,000 others who over four decades have gone into the world to serve their professions and their communities with distinction. And you lead the way for those who will follow you in the years to come. Some of these you know as classmates already. Others will look back over the years in admiration of what it took to graduate this year. At this point, I ask you to turn off your mics and video until the end and to follow our proceedings on screen. We will have closed captioning available for today's event. To turn on your closed captioning function, you will see on the toolbar at the bottom of your Zoom screen, a number of buttons, one of which will be closed caption. Click on the closed caption button to begin subtitles. Also, this ceremony is being recorded. To start our celebration, we would like to recognize each of our graduates individually. We've created a slide presentation that recognizes their, your accomplishments. Alexandre Villiers will introduce each graduate. To the graduates, we here in the Honors College salute you and congratulate you on this great accomplishment and milestone. Please know that you will always have a home with us here in the Honors College. We look forward to seeing all the great things that you will accomplish in the next chapters of your lives. And we invite you all to please come back and share your wisdom with other students in our community here in the Honors College at UIC. Congratulations. Laith Abuzir. Jalin Agalui. Sasha Agriel. Akayo Akenbo. Karamia Alberja. Janice Altamirano. Clovisa Amataj. Adriana Atunes. And Sam Barakat. Thea Isabel Barba. Jagjith Batia. Miranda Bolin. Megan Baduin. Lin Bui Ho Khan. Caroline Castellino. Elena Cisneros. Mark Quites. Hardik DeBoss. Shivani Debar. Matthew Dorman. Allah El Hanuni. Lukman Al Lathi.
Dubia Faroki. Sean Flynn. Anna Futterman. Richard Foster. Tabitha Garrett. Megan Gilbert. Kira Nats. Jamal Graham. Arsh Gupta. Iba Hassan. Clevi Hazizi. Aaron Hazlitt. Amna Hoda. Eric Hoop. Taylor Hutchinson. Renziel Illumin. Nimra Irfan. Amir Jaber. Rebecca Jung. Pranjal Cudway. Shaista Khan. Zainab Khan. Ojas Kanalkar. Ryan Keeler McNamara. Danielle Coolback. Maria Kernitska. Hannah Latanzio. Rebecca Lobbs. Anjani Male. Sophia Monakis. Ramin Mazrur. Kayla Massey. Mba Oliver Mba. Nikki Madanovich. Druva Meta. Mohammed Maman.
Laura Mikowska. Ananya Mishra. Aisha Mohammed. Jocelyn Moreno Hernandez. Lauren Nabu. Mary Benedicta Obikili. Sophia O'Connor. Maria Oeshi. Hanin Omar. Brenda Patel. Ruby Patel. Nikki Patel. Truchi Patel. Christina Perchishena. Nicholas Pope. Anum Kadri. Miriam Kadri. Tatiana Rodriguez. Angel Rodriguez Vega. Jacob Rosinek. Dua Ruyashi. Catherine Schick. Aaron Schreier Miller. Mahal Schroeder. Shivani Sengutuvan. Sarah Shaban. Sundus Shafkat. Mitten Shah. Diana Schlichtova. Raya Saeda. Nikki Ray Tabliajo. Brittany Tamayo. Neil Tamaya. Angela Timoshina. Jacob Troya. Kripa Venkaitash. 
Anita Wary. Rifa Zabin. And Randall Zagazdin. Congratulations to all of the Honors College graduates of December 2020. There's an expression, may you live in interesting times, that's been understood as a curse um, that uses irony for its intended effect. What sounds like an expression of goodwill means something different because the word interesting doesn't always carry a positive meaning. So if I were to say that you're graduating in an interesting time, you might think that I'm using the term ambiguously or ironically. I tend to be um, much more plain spoken than that. So I'll say there's nothing interesting about not being able to celebrate with you on campus. I miss you all. And I wish we could have this event in person. You joined the Honors College for its challenges and its opportunities. During your time here, you've had coursework and labs and activities, all under the guidance of persons who knew what you could do and made every effort to make sure you made every effort. We made it demanding for a reason, and only part of that reason was that we knew when we accepted you what you could do, that you could withstand, that we, you could withstand it. The other part of the reason we made it hard was that we'd be failing you if we didn't prepare you for a world that needs you at your best. Our society needs the best lawyers and nurses and teachers, the most capable doctors and engineers and writers. Through the intricate government machinery that makes state universities possible, the country turns to institutions like UIC and asks, can you give us those? Here in the Honors College, we answer that question as we always have with a resounding yes. We didn't know when we admitted you how much the world would need you at your best. Over the past year, we've all seen that our neighbors and neighborhoods need frontline workers and caring citizens, professionals in every field who can both plan and execute and see beyond their own interests. Your skills and strengths and professional preparation are indicated on your transcripts. And we've seen in your capstone projects how good you are as researchers and presenters of highly technical material. We see it in the, the awards you've received, and we hear it in the comments that your professors share with us. We see it in where you're headed off to, graduate and professional school for some, the workforce for others, med school and Wells Fargo, a TV journalist and a future attorney, a software engineer and an, and an infectious disease technologist. To all of these vocations, you bring the best training that UIC could provide and the experience of being part of this unique community. Bring both of those dimensions with you wherever you go. Your time in the Honors College, after all, has not just prepared you academically, it's steeled you, strengthened you for what lies ahead. Your involvement in your community, whether that's been an Honors College organization or a nonprofit agency far from Burnham Hall, has brought you face to face with persons of different backgrounds and cultures with their own interests and needs. You've learned from each other and grown as a result of what you did together. There's no way not to learn and grow when you're working and studying and planning events alongside some of the smartest and most determined students anywhere. And then you see yourself in your peers and recognize that you too are one of the smartest and most determined students anywhere. Although I want you to savor the moment, there is little time to rest on your achievements. The world is hurting and needs talented and compassionate individuals who aren't afraid of challenges. You're leaving the Honors College with the best that we could give you, and your accumulated experience has prepared you for a world that needs your ability and energy. Thank you for being part of the Honors College. Congratulations from all of us, 
and best of luck in the next stage of your lives and every stage beyond that. I now ask Assistant Dean Michelle McCrillis to share with us the Honors College graduation customs. Thank you, Dean Keene. And I would like to add my congratulations and warm wishes to our amazing graduates. We're so very proud of you. A tradition of convocation here in the Honors College is the bestowing of stoles, the gold vestment that symbolizes being a graduate of the Honors College. During the UIC commencement, you would wear this to signal your own achievement and show the unity and strength of our community. Dean Keene would also present each of you with your honors certificate. We're continuing these traditions, though we are unable to do so in person. You should have received your stole and certificate by mail. And at this point in our ceremony, I ask you to turn on your cameras and either place the stole over your shoulders, or if you have someone there with you, ask them to place it over your shoulders. They can present it to you with the certificate on our behalf as well. We'll give you a few moments now to take pictures and celebrate all you've accomplished. I want everybody now, if you could, turn your mics on and let's give everyone a round of applause for the Honors College Class of 2020. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, you've done it. You've you've done it. Not that we doubted that you would. But doing what it took to complete courses and finish capstones and manage all of the paperless paperwork to get you to this point is an achievement that sets you apart as a historic class. You join now the community of alumni that I mentioned at the beginning who welcome you as friends. And you were also part of a class of graduates across the country who persevered. Future generations will wonder how you did it. They'll wonder whether they'll be able to do it. And they'll look to you as examples of fortitude and determination. All of us in the Honors College are tremendously proud of you. We congratulate you and we wish you well in all of your future plans. Thank you so much for being part of our community. All the best to you at in the, in the weeks in finals, if you still have finals um, tomorrow and Friday and um, at every point in your future. Thank you and best wishes. <laughs>